सो हाई डियर लियो अ वेरी वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू यू गाइज दिस इज अंजलि टैरो एंड दिस इज जर्नल ऑफ रीडिंग फॉर ऑल द लियो सन मून मीनस राइजिंग फ्रॉम फिफ्थ टू द इलेवंथ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर दिस रीडिंग इज वेलिड फॉर एवरी ट्वेल्थ साइन दैट यू आर डीलिंग विद अलॉन्ग विद योर ओन साइन प्लीज कीप इन माइंड इट्स जर्नल इट माइट और माइट नॉट रेसोनेट विद यू एट द फर्स्ट प्लेस एंड द रूल्स कैन बी रिवर्स ऑल्सो ओके एंड सो लेट स्टार्ट योर पर्सन एंड योर पार्टनर्स कंट फीलिंग फॉर यू राइट नाउ एट दिस प्रेजेंट मोमेंट लियो we have 10 of wands okay someone is too much in a burden some kind of a situation this person is thinking like giving up on something or this this person might have physically given up on the situation but now energetically also they are feeling like uh, this situation is uh, weighing them down and no matter how hard they are trying to make this work out it's not working out so let's clarify the 10 of wands and let's see what's uh, what's the reason they are feeling like uh, this burden some and heavy kind of situation let's clarify the ten of wands here just give me a second so we have the eight of cups and the star and the four of okay wands this part it's very very it's very very heavy it's very very burdensome for this person to walk away from the situation completely they're not able to heal this person is trying their best to heal from the situation let it go let it pass get out of this situation but they are not able to do that no matter how hard they are trying to heal from the situation i think they are not able to do that physically they have given up on the situation a long time ago might be you have given up might be both of you have given up on the situation physically but uh, now this person is giving up energetically also in the situation and it's too 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 painful for this person to do it but they have to do it because eventually this person have to force themselves to walk away and heal themselves now i think somebody is trying to accept the truth the way it is and trying to figure out a way to uh, focus on their individual life and uh, have partnership and collaboration ship uh, collaboration kind of energy with the other people and working on their individual growth and success they're trying to shift their focus on their work and job and career let's see what do you feel about this particular person or situation right now leo Swords, you are also moving on in a different direction. You are trying to find peace. I think uh, you are trying your best to move on from this situation from a very long time. But again, I think both of you are moving on. But for one of you, it's a little bit easier than the other person. But the other person is suffering a lot. You are just trying to peace, uh, pe like you are trying to find peace here. You are just trying to find your comfort zone, your peaceful energies. All you want right now is peace. Mm hmm. Let's clarify the six of swords here. We have the five of swords and the ace of cups and the eight of wands. It's like you want a proper closure. You feel like this person is too egoistic to come towards you and open up their heart towards you. This person is never going to give you the clarity, never going to give you the apology, communication, or message. Whatever you are wanting from this particular energy, you are not getting it. And now your ego is also hurt. the person that you're dealing with their kind of egoistic person as per uh, your like uh, perception for of this person and you feel like you should also move on because if they are not doing anything about it why should you do that right that is why you feel like just uh, moving on trying to find peace within yourself and in the physical world also you feel like i should find my peace within myself first and in the physical reality as well because this person is never going to come back they are too egoistic to open up their heart chakra towards me they are too egoistic to give me the proper closure so let me move forward and let me try to connect with new people new energies and new connections as much as i can from my side this is what you feel okay your your heart chakra is open your energies are open to receive but someone is too egoistic to come forward and connect with you and you know that is why you are feeling like you should connect with new people new energies and new situations and keep your options open because you never know with whom you are going to find your uh, happily ever after with right so you are letting go of someone egoistic and someone uh, pr like who is uh, having a very big uh, pride out of your life and uh, opening up to new people new situation new connections let's see what this person wants from you what are their intentions for this situation leo
ओके एक्चुअली देर इंटेंशन इज टू वर्क आउट द सिचुएशन बिटवीन यूर दैम दे वॉन्ट टू कोलेबरेट विद यू दे वॉन्ट टू हैव सम काइंड ऑफ पार्टनरशिप विद यू I think this person wants to come back around and work, uh, work, and work out in this situation with you. But again, there is some kind of huge blockage that they don't, they are not uh, uh, able to get over with. Let's clarify the three of pentacles. We have the four of pentacles, the queen of pentacles, the king of swords. Wow. this person doesn't want to tell you that they want to have this uh, collaboration and partnership with you they want to remain detached from the situation they want to hold back any kind of urge to take any kind of action towards you but they do want this collaboration and partnership what kind of weird person you are more like uh, dealing with i don't know leo it's like somebody wanting a situation somebody wanting something very badly but when it comes to this energy of taking action they don't want to do it this is they just want to show you okay if you are not interested i am also not interested if you are going to play this game of detachment i am also det detached from the situation if you don't want me i also don't want you this is what they want to give you and they want to uh, remain silent they want to remain detached they want to give you the sense of uh, i don't want you because you don't want me kind of energy but they do want this collaboration and partnership with you they are scared of your rejection or they are scared of uh, what if and what if that what if this what if that what if leo is having somebody else what if leo is going to reject me what if leo is going to insult me what if leo is going to talk to me about some something from the past and i will not be able to answer them so they are just trying to protect their pride and uh, protect their ego because they feel like if they are going to come towards you or rush towards you you are going to insult them and reject them and you are not going to give them a proper uh, like answer proper uh, uh, respectful kind of energy so they are like okay better to better to stay away and show leo that i don't even uh, know you want you is different thing wow they are too scared to come towards you because of the fear of rejection or something but they are showing you that they don't even want you in their life that is the exact opposite of what they want leo too much uh, complicated and too much kind of uh, uh, the, someone is using a lot of their head space instead of their heart space that is why all this chaos is happening let's see uh, what do you want from this particular person or situation leo seven of wands you just want to keep yourself protected from being used or being hurt again you don't want to open up to this person or you don't want to open up to this energy because you think you know this is someone who is a big time manipulator who is trying to manipulate you to chase them and that is why you think like you should just keep your energies safe and protected from being hurt and used again seven of wands i think you tried to open up to uh, someone uh, from uh, in the past but uh, they again they showed you that they don't deserve you so you are now just protecting yourself let's clarify the seven of wands wow this is a very heavy reading complicated we have the queen of cups the strength and the two of cups see you still have this kind of uh, energetical cord attached to this person you still have some way deep down you still have some kind of feelings for this person but right now you just want to focus on your self love self care and self healing and you just want to hold back this urge of doing anything about this connection although you feel the connection but you don't want to do anything about it in fact you just want to protect yourself from being hurt again being used again and you just want to wait for the right soulmate we have multiple soulmates in uh, one lifetime i hope you know that soulmates are not always romantic partners sometimes soulmates are, are our friends our sub siblings our parents but in this case uh, you are just waiting for the right person or the per person who is going to be with you like uh, forever so you just want to keep yourself protected from those kind of energies or from those kind of soulmates who suck the energy out of you see now you are going to say me that uh, anjali soulmates doesn't suck your blood uh, uh, anjali soulmates doesn't do that or do, do this sometimes soulmates come to our life just to give us some lessons and this lesson that you are getting from this karmic soulmate of yours is that you should not drain your energy and uh, de drain your power on something or uh, or someone that's not meant for you that's not aligning with your energies right so this is what you are doing anyway you are just trying to protect yourself you are going in a hermit mode this time whenever you are going to give, go in a relationship you are going to be you are going to take a lot of time you are going to think about it very logically 
you are going to take a like leap of faith only when you are going to be completely ready for that let's see what is the possible outcome of the situation what's coming towards you till the 11th of september Three of Cups, okay. Three Three of Cups is a card of reconciliation, celebration, success, some kind of good news, good things coming in. Let me clarify the Three of Cups, and then we will see what is the possible outcome. What is coming? Might be this egoistic person is going to <laughs> open up to you. Might be. Let's clarify the Three of Cups. <coughs> We have the Temperance, the Seven of Cups, and the Queen of Swords. See, what is going to happen, Leo? Someone will try to come towards you. Someone will try to come towards you, giving you big signals, and then they are going to ghost you again. It's like after waiting for you, after waiting for some kind of action or message or communication from your side, I think somebody will try to come towards you, giving you mixed signals, leaving you confused and then ghosting you again so if somebody is coming towards you somebody from your past especially and if you think they're coming forward to have reconciliation with you full on kind of reconciliation with you i don't think that is the case someone is going to confuse the shit out of you and then they're going to ghost you again or you are going to ghost them but someone is coming with mixed signals kind of energy where they're like okay they will ask you what you are like how you are and what you are up to and all that but after after that nothing or they will just try to test uh, the waters with you like they will just try to see if you are into them or if you want them back or if uh, there can be something that can happen between you guys or you guys are not on the same page i think this person is going to understand that you are no longer interested in them and then they are going to ghost you again or they are going to say goodbye to you permanently this time because of the reaction you are going to give them or because of the no reaction that you are not, uh, you are going to give them like <laughs> I don't know what you're going to do but that is going to force this person to detach from you completely and this time I think it is going to, going to be the final goodbye okay for some of you this person will try to come towards you to see if there is a third party according to them if you are with somebody else there is a third party like that person is a third party here and they should uh, detach from you and they should uh, say goodbye to you completely or maybe you will tell them that I have uh, I'm interested in somebody else and I don't want to be with you anymore. Something is going to happen here that is going to confuse you for your for, for a little bit, but uh, everything is going to be crystal clear by the 11th of September, right? Something regarding a reconciliation, coming back together, kind of energy. The confusion is going to be over. I do see this is a permanent goodbye. If this is your story till this time, till this uh, point, so be ready for a permanent goodbye from someone and moving to the next chapter. Let's see the guidance for you guys, Leo, in the situation. We have the Six of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. Slowly but surely is going to win the race. Slowly and steadily you will be able to get out of the situation. You will be able to come out of this mental jail and you are going to be quite successful, successful in your life. It's all the matter of your perception of your mind playing games with you, trying to create some kind of illusions that you might think is a truth of your life. It is not the truth of your life. This is not the permanent like chapter of your life. This is one chapter of your life that is going to close uh, with slow and steady energies and you are definitely going to be successful, successful in your love and relationship area. It's right now just your perception that you're not good enough or that you're not lucky enough or something like that. So slowly but surely you will be able to come out of this perception. It's going to take a lot of time and uh, patience from your side. But definitely you will be able to come out of it. Just don't worry about it. It's just a phase. It will pass. Okay. So thank you so much for tuning in Leo. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye bye. Take care. God bless you. Namaste.